I am Lennart Johansson. I am project manager and strategic expert in Smart Marina. Tell us about the Smart Marina project. The Smart Marina project uh, has an environmental approach and it includes 32 ports in the project. Tell us about this off-grid Smart Marina guest harbour, Rödhamn. Now we are out at Rödhamn. Rödhamn is an island 15 km south of Mariehamn. And here they don't have any electricity. But now we have built an electricity power plant with solar panels. And we have built a service house with shower and warm water. And, and also electrical pedestals for, for charging the boats. You are the project manager and lead partner of Smart Marina project. How should Smart Marina continue among the Smart Marina guest harbors? Uh, this project will end now and hopefully hopefully we will see somebody else will take over where we ended because we have built a huge network of of many ports. What have you liked best with the Smart Marina project? The best is to see all the happy boat guests and happy port owners. Because this has, has mean a lot of good for them and for the future. My name is Rasmus Karlsson, project manager for the Finnish partner Novia University of Applied Sciences in the project Smart Marina. Please tell us how Smart Marina has improved the service and quality in guest harbors in southern Finland. Here in Finland we have focused on renewing old jetties as well as building new jetties to increase capacity in the harbors, as well as improving service levels by renewing and building new service buildings. What climate smart solutions have you got in the Smart Marina project? For instance, we have built four uh, new solar power plants to produce electricity when it's needed the most during the summers in the harbors. What has been the most challenging part with, the is with investments in the Smart Marina project? Working in an archipelago environment is always a bit challenging. Um, getting contractors that uh, are able to work in an archipelago and environment and for instance can move around by boat. What has been the most fun or interesting part with the Smart Marina project? Meeting harbor owners in the Nordic, Nordic countries to get to know them and their ideas, as well as seeing harbors across Europe and in the, uh, in the Baltic Sea has been very fun and interesting.
I'm Pia Berg from the Stockholm Archipelago Foundation and I've been working in the Smart Marina project for the last years. Please tell us how the Smart Marina project has improved service and quality at Feja. Well, the funding from uh, the Central Baltic program has made it possible for us to make uh, the guest harbour at Feyan a much safer place. Uh, the two floating piers with breakwater function uh, has made uh, has protected the harbour from all kind of winds now, which is very good for the boaters. And uh, the capacity has uh, improved greatly. We have doubled the capacity. We now have the possibility to welcome more than 50 leisure boats to the harbour. Uh, and the uh, service level is also much better because now we have uh, mooring lines and we also have uh, water taps and electricity on the piers. Can you tell us? Uh can you please tell us more about Feyan Guest Harbour, how you reached the harbour capacity, etc. But you actually mentioned a lot of that. I mentioned a lot of that, but I can also tell you that this is one of the first guest harbours you reach when you arrive from Finland and Åland. So it's a very convenient place to, to make a stopover. Uh, this, is, this island has a very intriguing history. Uh, it was a quarantine station uh, in the late um, 1800s. Uh, then we had a, a cholera epidemic and they wanted to stop the disease uh, before the, sa the ships sailed into Stockholm. And Feyan was one of the places where the ships had to wait for a couple of weeks. Many of these houses are still left uh, which make this a uh, very scenic place to visit. Hello, my name is Emil Selse. I am project manager for Valdemarsvik, where we have three ports in the Smart Marina projects. Please tell us how the uh, Smart Marina project has improved service and quality at Furuden and Burgsvik. Smart Marina has helped us to improve service and quality for all our three harbors. For Furuden outside Valdemarsvik and Burgsvik on Gotland, we have put more than 100 meter of pontons on, for a jet eye for the new guest harbour and in addition to that added a wave breaker to make the marina nice and calm for the visitors. In uh, Burgsvik we also added a service building including a harbour office and a payment machine and the harmonized signs in all the harbours have improved the overall impression a lot. What climate smart solutions have you got in the smart marina project? Thanks to Smart Marina, we have been able to prepare our harbour for blue flag, meaning that we have made a lot of environmental issues for waste management, for energy saving, etc. The most obvious result is maybe the solar panels we have both in Furuden and here in Uvmare, where they're actually producing all the electricity for the harbour using those solar plant production units. What can you tell us about this Smart Marina Guest Harbour, Uvmare? What kind of investments have been done in the Smart Marina project? For Uvmare, Smart Marina has made the, the possibility to change from a small, picturesque, hidden harbour, not known to very many, to a full-blown, full-service guest marina for visitors from land and water. The initial plan was only to add a jet eye with 20 uh, spots for the, for the boat. But in the end, thanks to, or maybe due to, Corona, we had the possibility to add both time and budget. And they are now building a service building, a harbour office. They added more uh, solar panels for the production unit. 
and that there are a lot of investments. Do you have an do you have some unexpected results from the project? Well, yes. I don't think anyone thought that you should go to Uvmare for fine dining, but that was happened. They managed to get really professional chefs here for the restaurant, and very popular restaurant. And in the end of September, they invited the people around here for the nine course dinner here. Really interesting dinner and really nice food. Another unexpected result is that we have a new landmark in Furuden, where we have now our, new, our own little Hafsfru. A statue worth more than double the investment in Smart Marina was donated to that place, partly due to Smart Marina. Another unexpected result is maybe that we found out that we have the big five in two of the harbor. The biggest or largest animal in each category, the largest mammal, largest eagle, largest seal, largest beetle and, and largest butterfly is found in or uh, in a close distance to both Fyrud and in Uvmare. So that is maybe a, an expected result. Hello, I am Anders Johnson. I'm project manager in Project Smart Marina for uh, Ergun Harbor, Rinde and Kislehamns Marina. Please tell us how the Smart Marina project has improved service and quality at Ergun, Grislehalm and Rinde guest harbors. All right. Uh, first of all, uh, we are in Ergun right now and here uh, we have been working with uh, to expand the uh, possible volume for uh, boat guests. And uh, the marina, this project, Smart Marina project, has increased our total guest volume by approximately 50%. So now we have, uh, instead of uh, 40 guest spots, around 66. In, uh, we have also uh, invested uh, in uh, a wave breaker since it's very um, uh, tough climate here, which is also the case in Grislehamn, where it was also very exposed for northwest winds. At the Rinde Arbor in Stockholm, uh, there has been a renovation of the service house and uh, kayak docks and so on. So it's been smaller investments there because their harbor was already very well protected from the beginning. Also, we have um, invested a lot in safety. As you can see here in the harbor, there is a lot of ladders and security and uh, that was uh, very much needed in this harbor. What has been the most interesting part with the Smart Marina project? Well, uh, I would say that uh, being able to work uh, together with uh, other harbors and uh, see other solutions have been uh, like a good uh, motivator to uh, start doing things together. My name is uh, Sven Grigulsson and I am the project manager uh, for uh, Smart Marina project representing Hiuma municipality. Please tell us how the Smart Marina project has improved service and quality the guest harbor of Hiuma. Service and uh, quality level 
uh, in Hioma harbors has increased in many different levels. Uh, in Kartla, for example, we have set uh, up a new floating jetty with uh, 22 additional uh, mooring places uh, together with electricity and uh, drinking water. In uh, Oriaku Harbour we have a brand new service house uh, together with saunas and uh, other facilities for the harbour uh, visitors. What climate smart solutions have you got in the Smart Marina project? In Kärdla we have uh, purchased a uh, smart uh, charging station for electric devices, for example, electric bikes and cars and so on. And uh, it, come to, it came with a set of electric bikes as well. What has been the most challenging part with the investments in the Smart Marina project? Most uh, challenging uh, was executing the investments because uh, in uh, our conditions uh, here on small islands we have, it is very hard uh, to find contractors and uh, to keep uh, the investments uh, in the frames of the budget. And, uh, and, and it was also difficult in budget-wise because of the time span of the project. We made uh, preliminary um, uh, investment plans uh, three or four years ago and uh, during uh, the timeline uh, prices uh, kept rising and that was uh, quite difficult to manage. What has been the most interesting part with the Smart Marina project? The most interesting uh, part of Smart Marina project as well as any other uh, project is uh, creating contacts with new people and uh, exploring uh, uh, other uh, re regions' uh, actions in the harbour keeping because we are so different uh, in nature-wise and culture-wise and uh, that makes it very interesting to see other locations and how they work.